Which cryptocurrency is currently more profitable to mine with on the Gold Shell SC box? Sciacoin or SC Prime? Well, the short answer, Sciacoin. In this video, I'll break down the current mining profitability I'm seeing with both these coins. I'll explain why I've decided to stick with mining SC Prime despite the lower profitability rate for that coin. And finally, I'll show you how you can switch your Gold Shell SC box to mining SC Prime if you so choose to do so. As some background, SC Prime was actually a fork of the Sciacoin project and it forked in early 2020. Both Sciacoin and SC Prime are what are called proof of work cryptocurrencies and they both use the same algorithm for their mining, the Blake 2B algorithm. This means that any miner that uses the Blake 2B algorithm to mine can actually switch between Sciacoin and SC Prime. Such miners include the Gold Shell SC box as well as the Gold Shell HS box. In my last video covering my Exa miner, I asked you all if you wanted me to cover mining SC Prime with my Gold Shell SC box and compare the profitability with the Sciacoin. Several of you commented that you were very interested in seeing this, so that's what we're covering in today's video. If you have any questions or topics you want covered in future videos, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section down below. And as always, remember this video is not financial advice. Let's get on to the numbers. So here's a quick analysis I put together comparing the mining on my Gold Shell SC box between Sciacoin mining and SC Prime mining. So I switched from mining Sciacoin to SC Prime two days ago on September 26, 2022. First, let's look at our Sciacoin mining history. We were averaging 224 Sciacoin mine per day at a current price of 0 0.00347 per Sciacoin. We were generating revenue currently per day of 78 cents. We're estimating our electric per day at a 12 cent per kilowatt hour rate of 58 cents, so a net profit per day of 20 cents mining Sciacoin. If you look at our initial results of our SC Prime mining, uh, we're initially mining approximately just over three SC Prime tokens per day at a current price of 21.18 cents per SC Prime token. We're looking at revenue per day of 64 cents per token and the same electricity usage, so a net profit of six cents per day. So based on this analysis that I'm seeing currently, Sciacoin is actually more profitable to mine for this miner versus SE Prime, coming in at an additional revenue per day of 14 cents. And one other thing to note is the Sciacoin mining network hash rate is much larger than SE Prime mining, uh, coming in about, looks like about five times the size of SE Prime mining. And our pool fees for both Sciacoin and SE Prime mining are the same at 3%. All right, let's do a quick comparison of the Sciacoin and the SC Prime cryptocurrency tokens. Uh, first off, Sciacoin is a much larger cryptocurrency. It's ranked number 137th in terms of coin market cap versus SC Prime, which is a much lower uh, market cap coin. It's only got a market cap of 9.3 million versus 180 million for Sciacoin. Uh, the other big difference between these coins is the 24-hour volume. Uh, Sciacoin is traded on many different exchanges and it's quite liquid. You can trade in and out of this coin very easily, whereas SC Prime is only currently traded on, I believe, two or three, and they're not major exchanges, so you're not seeing very much volume at all for this coin traded on a daily basis. So if you're interested in trading in and out of this coin, it may be much harder to do so with SC Prime. Both these coins are down about the same percentage from their all-time highs at 97 and 94% accordingly. Um, but SC Prime is, at a, on a percentage basis from its all-time lows, uh, much farther away from its all-time lows. But you also have to remember SC Prime started trading in early 2020 versus uh, Sciacoin, which has been trading for much longer. And that's because SC Prime was a fork of the Sciacoin project. So why am I choosing to mine SC Prime over Sciacoin, even though it's currently less profitable? Well, I have three main reasons for doing so. First, I'm already supporting the SC Prime network by running my Exa miner and providing data storage to the network. I want to further support the network by mining SC Prime and helping to secure the network. Number two, the profitability difference between these two coins currently is quite negligible. You're looking at a net of 20 cents per day for mining Sciacoin versus a net of six cents per day mining SC Prime. I'm willing to forgo the net 14 cent difference between mining these coins to get more exposure to SC Prime in the long run. And then finally, the last reason I choose to mine SC Prime is I think there's higher potential upside in this project in the long run. So I wanna to try to accumulate as many SC Prime tokens as I can currently today while prices are still depressed. 
I want to briefly go over some of the risks I see with SC Prime mining, just so that you can make an informed decision here. First, SC Prime has announced that they are moving away from proof of work and into proof of stake at some point in the future. That time frame has not yet been announced, but you should be aware that we're not going to be able to mine this coin forever. Second, there's very low volume for the SE Prime token currently traded on exchanges. It's currently only available on three different exchanges. So the poor volume makes it for very liquid and it may be difficult to sell your coin in the short term. And the other big risk for SE Prime is it is a very low market cap project. So inevitably it is much higher risk than a more established project like Sciacoin. So if you want to switch your gold shell SE box to SE Prime mining, it's actually very straightforward to do so. Uh, there's directions here listed. We'll go through them briefly, but I'll link this in the description below if you'd like to do this yourself. So the first step is opening up your dashboard for your gold shell SC box. So you want to add a pool for SC prime mining. So for example purposes, we'll add a pool for mine here. So you want to pick the pool that's closest to you in terms of geographical location. I've already set one up for US West, so for example purposes, I'll set up one for US East here. So copy this link over and you'll paste the link here. So next we have to get our wallet that we'll want our SE Prime distributed to. And we'll put that under the miner name. So for mine, I'll be using the wallet for my Exa miner. So go to your Exa miner dashboard and click send or receive and really you'll just want to copy your receive wallet address. So this would be your personal wallet address for your XM miner. We'll paste mine here and then we'll hit period and then you'll put your miner number. So for mine I'll just put 01 and then you put your own password here and hit apply. And then what you'll want to do is Put the pool that you want mined as your first pool listed here. So currently I have the US West uh, SE Prime mining here and then here is my Sciacoin mining pool and here's my third for my East. So you'll, if you want to do SE Prime mining you would just put that first. And then if you ever want to switch between Sciacoin and SE Prime mining you can really just flip this and have your Sciacoin pool listed as first. So will you be switching over from Sciacoin mining to SC Prime mining? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm interested to see if other people will be making this switch as well. Thanks for watching and goodbye.